Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, Hello, Lia. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How's my on? Hi. 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 Welcome to another episode of 72 Hours Challenge. Huh? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call that. Oh, hours, you're working from home, That's the point. I have sent you all an email regarding the challenge. Please go and read the email. And if you have any questions, I will not answer any questions. And goodbye. Huh? Wait, what is this? Huh? The point about this? Yeah, 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 Ting literally just hung up the call without any other instructions except for the email so I'm just gonna read it right now okay, I found it. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone, I hope you had a, hope great, you had weekend. a great weekend Eatbook has a challenge for you Starting tomorrow, you will have to stay home for the next 72 hours Huh? I can stay more <laughs> Okay, so this is where the rules come in You are not allowed to leave your house I was told not allowed to order food delivery and must cook your own food from the items that you bought. Being very volatile at the moment, right? I think it's good that we are staying home. Now with the whole COVID-19 thing going on, I've been working from home for the past two, three weeks already. Uh. I'm also like the person who orders bread food delivery every weekend. <laughs> Let me research on some recipes first. Something that is foolproof, lazy proof, and carrot proof. I'm going to go grocery shopping and then I'll show you guys what I got. See you. Knowing myself, I'm going to gravitate to all the processed food because I am lazy. There's like a whole pack of, what, 10 inside? And I can use it for like all my meals, so I'm getting one of these as well. Oh my god, send help! I spy my dairy section. I need butter, cheese. I really have milk, I also don't need so I'm going to be a bit us For one breakfast, I'm going to get one avocado. This one. I found the international section and I came here because I want some Korean sweet. The oh they also have gochujang which I think I might get in case I want to I don't know what I want to do, make army stew maybe. Other than food, right? I still needed to get some household essentials and guess what? The container is on offer now. Buy two get one free. Just nice. My trusty little basket. This is one of the last time I'm going out before I'm on my stay home notice by eatbook. So I actually wore some makeup so that I'll feel better about myself. These are only 95 cents for one whole bag. The Pope of Flavors Garlic. This one. Oh, goodness, guys, look behind me. Is everyone from SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> If you've never done this at the rice section, you are not Asian. My mother basically told me that air fryer cooking is healthier. Look at the price. I'm gonna look up for some recipes that I can cook with the air fryer. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, let's go. I'm back home with my groceries. I guess this is the start of the 72 hour challenge. My 72 hour challenge has officially begun. It is day one of the stay at home challenge and I'm a breakfast kind of person so I decided I have cereal at home so I decided why not eat some yogurt with cereal. I know that's a bit strange but I think I've seen people do it before. Mm. I'm not really a breakfast person on weekdays that's why I'm only having tea this morning. This is my egg sandwich. I think it's great to work from home because I can eat my breakfast in front of my computer. I am ready for my three days worth of Japanese cuisine. I'll be transforming this into a soup with a bit of dashi. I've got a dashi powder. Oh my god, I'm very scared. I've never made this before. This is what I do every day when I'm at home. Annoy my cat. Here's day one's lunch and look at how beautiful the egg is right now. So he's over here like looking at After 10 minutes, my pasta is done. Here's my one pot pasta. Uh, let's try. I hope it's nice. Mmm, 
but I still love breakfast food. So I'm gonna make pancakes and avocado for lunch. My lunch! Netflix and eat is a thing, right? I can't even finish my lunch. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the food into the container and then heat it up for dinner later. I am staying at home to do my work but I decided that I'm gonna change out of my pyjamas so that I'll be more productive. And I have changed! Work from home doesn't mean that you need to look sloppy. I'm gonna make a pasta bowl. I'm done with work but I'm so lazy to cook. I'm just like... I guess I have to since I can't order delivery and this afternoon I was craving Starbucks but no! Look at the so-called Oden Brewing. This is probably around 2 to 3 persons worth of soup. Barely half of all the ingredients I've used. And what I have in my hand here is one of my favourite items uh, when it comes to eating plain rice. It's called Furikake. So it is just dried bits of sesame and seaweed and it's just full of umami la. so when you sprinkle it on top of your rice like this right It looks legit Japanese! My trusty little microwave has just decided to die on me and what a time for it to die but thankfully I placed my leftover lunch in a glass container because I could actually put it in the oven instead Sprinkled some cheese and even bakwa bits on top Turn it up a little bit so that you know dinner can taste a little different from lunch Ta-da! Bam! Kimchi fried rice! And here is the final product Hmm, good! Okay, my mom is trying it now Not bad, right? Not bad But? I'll probably fry it a little bit longer to make it dry Oh, fry it longer I'm just too hungry <laughs> Let's play! It's currently 10.30 at night and I have decided to relive my childhood and I'm playing on this shirt Okay, let me show you Look at this shit that's happening Breakfast. My mom is also working from home. I mean, she's just like, why are you talking to the camera to yourself? Do you have people actually watching this? Yes. And one of my favorite things about staying home is that I get to spend more time with monies. Good girl. I just fed her. I always feed her before I feed myself. I'm just thinking of the outdoors. If I want to get vitamin D from the sun, right? I need to stand at my balcony. Eh? Lunch time, and I'm gonna show you how to make japchae using only a rice cooker. First thing you need to soak about 150 grams of Korean glass noodles in water, and then chop up um, your favorite vegetables and get ready soy sauce, sugar, sesame oil, and sesame seeds if you have, but I don't. Close the lid and cook it for 25 minutes. Then for the extra vegetables, I'm just gonna keep them in an airtight container for later use. We are just gonna have a very simple chawamushi. Let's hope that the end result will turn out good. It's like this! Nope! <laughs> it looks like an egg and mushroom pancake. There is no way to say that this is a chawamushi. It really tastes like egg in chicken stock. Pasta. I have never used an air fryer before, but it seems pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna put everything together. It just beep and it smells good. Ooh! Mmm! For people who don't like to eat vegetables, I think if you use an air fryer to cook your vegetables, right, you might change your mind. Okay, so I made enough for both lunch and dinner and I'm gonna place my dinner portion in a container. Hi guys! Hello! Ah! Uh, how y'all miss human interaction? Need social interaction, need to find friends! That's nice. Chow introduced us like this game called Scream Video where we have to, I don't know, draw and then guess the things that we have to draw. <laughs> Why is it red? Yeah, why is it red? 
Not a lot to get out of the house to exercise. Let me just look at home with the help of YouTube tutorials. We're gonna flip over into a tabletop position. Dinner time. Let's see, I've marinated some minced meat yesterday. I'm probably gonna do the minced pork first. I'm gonna use this to make a sobolo don. Got me a salad again for dinner tonight, but to top off my dinner, my mother made some chawamushi with my eggs. Wow, this is the most atas looking food that I'm eating. Eh. My mom is the real chef, lah, not me. I will check back in 15 minutes, I guess. I feel like I'm making an egg crepe. Ooh! Not bad. Not bad, looking crispy. I'm gonna eat my kimchi. Yeah, at least there's a bit of a spicy sourness to it. You ready to see the soboru? 3, 2, 1. Yeah! It's packed way too full. I think this is definitely enough for a two person share. But today has been a long day, so it's all gonna be for me, huh? I'm gonna do a K-pop cover. I've been wanting to learn this dance for a while. It's the new song from Itzy, it's called Wannabe. Since I haven't managed to go for dance classes because I'm stuck at my home. Staying home all day, it also means that you can mask all day. <laughs> so maybe right, your skin would improve after staying home three days straight. It's day three of the 72 hours challenge today and I feel a bit more jaded than usual. That's why I'm wearing like a nice dress instead of my two home clothes and I'm also gonna wear my prescription glasses because I heard that these are actually productivity hacks so let's find out if they really work It's my final day of my eat book stay home notice and <laughs> it's raining! Very nice weather to stay indoors lah I gotta say and I really just felt like sleeping in this morning and I did! I actually woke up around 8 which is much later than I would wake up if I had to go out lah because usually when I, I have to go out right, I'll wake up at 7 so I actually got an hour more of sleep Meanwhile Oh my gosh! Uh, I was about to vlog but I put some eggs in the fridge because I don't want to You know people whisking Dalgona coffee, I'm here just whipping some eggs. Mm. <gasps> okay, let me try one. Mmm. Maybe I should have added ham or bacon or something. I think the whole the whole three days I haven't eaten meat eh. Eh. <laughs> And it's the final day. I'm gonna make my lunch now. I'm gonna do a tamagoyaki. I think my chopstick skills suck. After I wrote it nicely uh, for the first three times. I broke it! I broke the rules! Honestly, no lies. Uh. It tastes like it eh. It tastes like how tamagoyaki should taste like. Uh, I just hope tonight will be better. Tonight I'm cooking chicken teriyaki. Open. A lot. First water. And my lunch is done. I just need to wait five minutes. I am going to watch some anime because I have time to kill. So this is what I'm currently watching. It's called Bungo Stray Dogs. Please enjoy. If you like anime, dinner time. 
it's the last meal of the St. Peter Hours Challenge so I'm going to make something really fancy today. It's called Eggplant Rollatini. If you like me, you don't like to cook like big batches of food, you can just keep your vegetables in airtight containers and it will stay fresh within a week. So from the pan right, I actually transfer it to this glass container. Place more cheese on top and pop it in the microwave for extra cheesiness. Nicely toasted! Oh yes, look at that, hear that sound! I have a feeling that this will be a success. And there we have it! Teriyaki chicken dawn with stir-fried vegetables. Actually, I'm quite glad how this turns out. So good! You're not seeing this on the camera, right? No. <laughs> Okay, so it's really late and I haven't had my dinner. Dinner feels so lonely. It's sad. It's not a great way to end the challenge, but it's okay. And we are done with the 72 hours challenge. <laughs> Woo! All in all, I found this 72 hours challenge to be much more meaningful and fun. Like I've been cooking more, reading up on more recipes and I also started revisiting old hobbies like playing the ukulele Honestly, staying at home is a lot easier than I thought except the fact that I find it very hard to interact with my friends But honestly, I feel like this desire is secondary to the importance of staying home during this crucial time and if everyone played their part in staying home, I think that it would be very effective in controlling the spread of the virus. I want to sound boring, but that's the truth. But there are actually a lot of ways that we can continue to interact with people while we are staying at home. Like we were playing all these games and they're actually really fun as well. Uh, you still have all the time to yourself, but you can talk to people over the internet on the camera like I'm doing right now everyone really just has to pull through this period together, you know? because if we all did it, I think we would be able to achieve a lot more with this practice like thinking about it, like what if we really, you know, end up having to stay at home and delivery services get um, cut off and stuff and like how are we going to survive that? it's actually a very real question nah. so I didn't think about it that much because I guess people take it for granted that you know there's always these services available but in the current situation, you never know what's going to happen. One thing I could have done better with my shopping is plan my meals a bit better rather than like just grabbing everything that I saw. Just, okay, I'm just going to buy whatever I want. Maybe I'll use it next time. It's very wasteful. La. So at the same time, it made me think of like how to use my food creativity. And yeah, just don't buy over buy things because like I was more than stocked up for a good period of time. La. One thing that I really need to do is pack my room because my room very messy. <laughs> But now that I'm going to be staying home for the next few days also, I think that uh, I will definitely have the opportunity to do that. I will work on it. I promise I will clean my room because it's a wreck. Like here we are, whining about having to stay at home. Well, there they are, not whining about having to stay in their protective gear that gives them rashes, that doesn't allow them to go to the toilet or eat for extended hours. So to all hospital staffs, cleaners and helpers, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for sacrificing and taking risks for us. So thank you for watching this episode of Say 2 Hours Challenge. If you love videos like these, you can catch more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye! Stay safe, stay at home. You got this, we got this, we can do this together.